welcome back. I'm Luke Stanky, Tableau Zen Master, and I'm the founder of Data Coach. Data Coach is a premium online trading platform where uh, you can learn how to master self service analytics tools like Tableau while also receiving one on one coaching from top ranking experts. In this video, we're going to show you how to build the Cleveland dot plot. And we'll talk about why it's called the Cleveland dot plot in a second. And like I said, in this video, we're going to recreate this Cleveland dot plot. And you're probably wondering, why is there a dot plot named after the city of Cleveland? Well, it's actually not at all named after the city of Cleveland. Uh, back in 1984, uh, there's two authors to an an article in the uh, Journal of American Statistical Association, uh, William S. Cleveland and Robert McGill, who published this paper on graphical perception, and they showcased this chart type, and they called it, well, from the paper, it got called the Cleveland dot plot. So it's actually the Cleveland and McGill dot plot, but uh, the power of being the first author on a paper. Little did you know, right? William S. Cleveland dot plot. That's what we're going to create, and it's a fun one. It's a pretty quick one. We're going to go show you how to do this. So first, let's go ahead and connect to the Superstore data set. I'm using Tableau 2020.4, and I'm just going to start by taking sales, dragging that up to columns, and I'm going to go find a subcategory and drag it on rows. Very similar to a lot of the videos that we've created thus far, a lot of the, the charts in the videos previous. Just a very simple chart type here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ad hoc calculation, double click on columns and type window sum sum of sales. So window sum sum of sales, window sum sum of sales. And I have this and I'm actually going to flip the order of these mark types in a second here. So this mark is on the left. So let's just do that really quickly. And why this falls into the bar chart type is because we're going to change the mark type for window sum. By the way, these bars taking up the whole length and all being equal is exactly what we want. But we're just going to change this bar type, uh, mark type from automatic to bar. We're going to change our color to a light gray. And we are going to change and set this value all the way down. And from there, uh, we can just take the second mark type on sales and change that to circle. From there, right click, uh, sorry, on the, uh, on the values at the top, I'm going to right click, let's try that again, on the one on the right, right click, dual axis, and then I'm going to right click and the axis itself, synchronize them together. From there, I can just click on the All Marks card and remove measure names. I don't really need that. Um, my values, though, um, you know, they go way, way too far. So I'm just going to edit this table calculation and uncheck subcategory. Um, what do I want to do here? Oh, I chose the wrong calculation. I did window sum. I'm going to double click and edit that. I just want to change this from window sum to window max. I want the maximum value. Whoops. Try that away. Again, window max. Sum of sales. And there it is. That's what I want. So now we've got these bars. We're just going to do a little bit of formatting. Right click, uncheck show header, go do some formatting. Right click, format. We're going to remove our column dividers. We're going to remove our row dividers if they're even there. They should be because Tableau defaults them. If you do a dual axis, we're going to go come up to lines as well and remove our grid lines, remove our zero lines, remove our axis rulers. We do not want any of those showing up because they just sort of add to the distraction of the view. We're almost there. The last thing we need to do is add uh, labels and we're going to put labels on the ends of our lines here. And to do so, we'll just click label and Click show mark labels, but we're going to um, go find sales once again. So you can drag sales onto label and we'll have our labels showing up at the end here. We probably don't need tooltips on these bars, so we can click on tooltip. On, uh, and we can't do this on both, but uh, uncheck. But what we can do is if we delete everything out of here, uh, it'll turn off the tooltip 
for what we're going to have. So this is essentially how to create a Cleveland dot plot. The dot plot is essentially a dot along the line. Sort of forgot to call that out early in the video. Whoops. But uh, the reason I'm putting this in the bar chart section, like I said, I used a bar chart to create this line to connect the dots together. And the way I like to use this is I think about the, frankly, the, the ink uh, to, to space ratio on my view. And it really, I don't need a full bar. The dot to me works just as well. And that's the power of the Cleveland dot plot. Oh, one last thing that you should do, I highly recommend, is on the circle, change your border to match the background. So if I have white here, I'll just set that value to white. And maybe I'll change the color to like a darker value as well. And you know, I can play around with the size just a little bit. But to me, this is how we, I would go about creating this Cleveland dot plot again. I'm going to set that border to none for whatever reason. It's just showing up a little bit. Um, you know, there's color showing up there, which is very interesting. Not sure why it's doing that. Um, anyway, I just want to wrap things up here uh, by first saying uh, this is our fourth video in the series. I want to thank you again for tuning in. If you found an ounce of value in this video, be sure to give us a like. Um, it'll help support our work. And don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe, you'll get the video in your inbox so that you can see them as they come out. And lastly, um, if you're eager to level up your Tableau skills and impress your future employers, check out Data Coach. There's a link in our description. You can get a 50% off deal. There's just a couple days left in our special. Uh, so act fast if you're going to do that. Anyway, this is Luke. Once again, thank you, and we'll catch you in the next one.